What's up guys, Trey here, also known as Topic Tech, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to set up BTTV emotes, as well as Franker Face Z emotes for your Twitch channel. Let's get started. First things first, I wanna kind of explain why I feel like having these channel emotes are very important for any channel size to have enabled on your channel. I often go into channels and I see that they don't have any setup, and I feel like it's something that you can miss with chat interaction, giving people the option to use more channel emotes versus the ones that you can only get from subscribing to channels. Reason number one is that this is free. It doesn't cost you anything. So you can set this up, it takes a few minutes. And then once you have it set it up, you never have to bother with it again, if you choose to. We'll talk about that in a second though. This does add a expressive way for your chat to interact with you, be it with different emotions like happy or mad or sad, or just wanting to put in a silly emote to kind of break the ice and add something to the chat. And you can be even eventful with it. So you can even pre-plan different, like you can do a Halloween themed emotes. You can do Christmas themed emotes. You can do birthday themed emotes if you're planning on celebrating a birthday. And it's really easy to change these emotes out as you go and progress. You can even have mods go in and edit for you and add different emotes and take them away as you please. But before we continue, first things first is you have to get it installed. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you how to do that right now. To install this, it's very simple. You simply go to betterttv.com. And once you're here, you'll be greeted with this message to download to your browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge, so yours will be highlighted here if you're using Edge, but you can switch to Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, Safari, or other. But once you click there, it'll take you to the extension page and you simply add it to there. And that's pretty much it. The hard work's done. Now you're ready to go. Well, not quite yet. For those that are using OBS or Streamlabs OBS, I'm gonna show you how to enable it in the software. So that way when you're reading chat as you're live streaming, you'll be able to see the emotes that your chat is using as well too. So let's take a look at that. We'll go ahead and first take a look at this for OBS. You'll just go down to where it says settings. Once you're in settings, you'll go to stream on the left and then you, you will have to make sure you have service checked as Twitch. And then when you do have it set to Twitch and whatever your server you're on, um, you'll come to where it says Twitch chat add-on. You'll want to change this to, and I would go ahead and change it to better TTV and Franker face C and then hit apply. And then now whenever there's an emote, you will see that in your chat window that would normally be embedded in your OBS frame. Next, I'll show you how to do this in Streamlabs OBS. You simply just come down to the settings cogwheel and you'll go down to where it says appearance. And under appearance, you'll see where you can check off to enable better TTV or Franker Face C. Having those checked will allow you to see the emotes in your chat as well too. Takes a second, it will refresh, and then you'll see the emote menu right there. Now, I think oftentimes people get confused on how to even see what the emotes are. You're gonna have two different emote menus. One is gonna be right next to the where it says chat button, and one is gonna be in line with the chat message. The one in line with the chat message is where you're gonna see your Franker Phase C emotes. These are gonna be non-animated as well as your channel subscription emotes. Those are all gonna be under this tray, while your animated emotes or your BTTV emotes are gonna be under um, this smiley face here next to the chat, um, as well as a bunch of other global emotes and subscription emotes. So you're gonna see most of your emotes underneath this little button right here next to the chat button. Now that you have this installed into your browser and you have it installed on your OBS or Streamlabs OBS, all you have to do now is go in and add whatever emotes that you want. It's incredibly simple for BTTV. All you have to do is come up to where it says emotes, and this will give you a list of top emotes, trending emotes. These are ones that have been trending for the past week of a lot of different channels without throughout Twitch. 
shared emotes. These are emotes that people upload that they created themselves and they wanted to share with the community. And then these are global emotes. These are ones that are, are deemed global to BTTV. If you want to add them to make it easier for your community to find them, makes it easier for you to add it to your dashboard as well too. It's really simple to add. All you gotta do is click on the one you like, and then you can just simply add to channel. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to save it to a folder. It does all the work for you. And you can add as many emotes as you want to go to see what emotes you currently have installed. You go to your dashboard and it'll give you a list of emotes. Now here's where I was talking about it being free. So they give you a certain amount of slots that actually don't remember. I think it might be 30 or 40. It's a lot of slots to start off with. You can have your own emotes that you want to upload yourself. You can choose to share them. That's where you, I was showing you where you could share your emotes, but you can also click on ones like the one we just added people popcorn. You can have them add it to your channel this way. It's incredibly simple to go in and edit these as well too. So let's say you add Ayaya to your channel, but let's say you don't want to have Ayaya anymore. You come down here under your list on, on your dashboard. And let's say you want to have it removed. You just click remove and it's removed and it's gone. It does take a little bit of time for it to remove from your chat. So you still, you will, you may still see it for a few minutes, but once you remove it from here, it'll sync up and then you're good to go. Speaking of sync, you can also sync all of these emotes to your discord channel as well, too. It's very simple. It gives you a button. You log into your discord and now all of your emotes will link up with your discord channel that you have set up here. So you don't have to really kind of do both. And they're also going to be animated. The only thing with animated emotes in discord, you do have to be a discord, uh, prime or discord pro. I forget what they're called in order to use animated emotes in discord, but it gives that option for people to use it if they are, you know, discord pro. And now about the free versus paid version, this is better TTV pro. Uh, so that you get 50 channel emotes. 50 shared emotes, priority emote approval. So whenever you upload an emote, it'll get approved a lot faster. Um, and then the longer each month, and this is kind of cool, each month that you keep it, they give you two extra slots, which is pretty cool. So I've had it, I've had this subscription for a little bit of time now, and I now have uh, 62 emotes. <laughs> from 46. So I need to add a few more to kind of take advantage of it. Ranger face C is very similar as well too. download it to your browser. You can choose the different browsers that you want. Once you have it downloaded, installed, enabled for your browser to see it, all you gotta do is go to, you can go to the public library. You can come through and try to find different ones you want to add. I personally don't like Frank or Facey emotes that much because they're not animated. The only ones I really like are the wide emotes. So it, it's actually a little bit long. It's like double or triple the size of a regular emote. It just adds a even more expression. It's like, look at this wide people sad. He looks really sad. <laughs> One last thing I want to leave you with is a couple of ideas that you can do with better TTV emotes. If you're not using them currently, or if you are using them, maybe this will help spice it up a little bit for you. The other idea is you can also offer a emote slot as a channel point reward. So here's the idea is that you set channel points of, let's say 50,000 channel points. Then a person could have an emote that they choose from either BTTV or Frank or C along with your approval, of course, but they can then be rewarded with a channel emote slot. And then that can be kind of their personal emote. And again, it's something that's going to be up to your approval. Of course, I think it's just a fun way to kind of add to utilizing BTTV more because again, it's free. doesn't cost you anything unless you want extra slots. You can invest the $5 a month, which this is not sponsored by BTTV, but you can add the $5 a month and have more slots in the future. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this video to kind of, hopefully it's helpful for you guys, especially if you're just getting started streaming, or if you've been streaming for a while and you're looking for something kind of new or refreshing, Adding and changing these emotes, I feel like are something that is not only engaging with your community because you can put out votes or you can, you can auction these off in channel points, but you can also theme them to the games that you play or the season that it is, but just having something a little extra 
that doesn't cost anything to you or to your audience is always something nice to add. Hopefully this was helpful. And if it was, please leave a like down below as well as let me know what emotes you're currently using or what are your, some of your favorite emotes down in the comment box down below. Some of my favorites are like I showed the why people happy or why people sad just because it shows so much emotion. Uh, but you can also share some of your favorite emotes so others can possibly add it to their list as well too. So please leave me some comments down below. Let me know what your favorite emote is. And that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.